How does gaming and social networks affect the population? The average person spends almost 10 hours a day on the internet. When you really think about it and put it in perspective, you have 8 hours of sleep, and if you're a student, 6 hours for school, plus these 10 hours, that means that almost half your day is spent on the internet. Mm -hmm. The internet was created in 1983, but it since flourished into a big playground for everyone to be on. In 1986, there was only 2,000 users, but nowadays, there are 4.8 billion users, which is a major increase. And each day, there is 5, 5 billion Google searches per day. In regard to speech, TED Talk, she talks about the effects of video games and how it connects us. And in Pencil's piece, he talked about how the internet connects different social groups and connects people to the world. One benefit of the internet and gaming is collaboration. Since the internet has been created, it has helped to have people collaborate with each other more. For example, GoFundMe, people work together to help a goal. Mm -hmm. Also, it helps to give people more of a way to connect. Nowadays, you have Facebook, you have Twitter, you have all these different resources, you can talk to people from all over the world. Also, it helps us to know more about the world. Before, when you had to read a newspaper to know about it, even kids know about it these days. All you have to do is wake up, turn on your smartphone, and just look on any news source. Also, it helps to connect different types of people. You can talk to someone your age from France, or you can talk to someone even from Spain. Talk to everyone. The disadvantage of this is there could be possibly a decrease of self-reliance. For example, nowadays students can look online for the answers to their homework. So this could decrease them actually knowing the work. But another benefit of the internet and gaming is been our trust. Since the internet has and gaming has connected us, it has helped us to connect more because when we are playing with someone, we believe that they have similar goals and goals. So we trust them that they will do the right things. And also, we will, with the knowing that they have similar goals, we know that just like us, they won't give up. But the disadvantage of this is that with the internet nowadays, you may not know who you're talking to. It could be this person that you know from France that is your age, but it could be someone much older that's not who they say to be. And also with the internet, sadly, there's increased in ways to bully. But there are solutions. One solution is little screen time for teens, kids, and even adults. But the limitations are that different games and apps need different amount of times. For example, you need probably more limited on Instagram than you do on Pinterest. Pinterest is just a pictures and ideas sharing, while Instagram has comments that could possibly cost you. And also, not everyone will limit time. For, like I said earlier, the internet and gaming and social media cleans up half our day, so not everyone will want to get rid of it. Another solution is having our social interactions and games watch more closely. But the thing is, is like I said before, there's 4.8 billion users. So it can be hard to look after all those users. Also, a major importance to people nowadays is privacy. So many people will not want to, the government or whoever's watching to know their business. This is my work cited and then this is image cited. I hope I did image side of right. Okay, a couple of questions for you. Uh, the first one is, what evidence did you gather that you didn't use? And then why did you choose not to use that evidence? One piece of evidence that I chose not to use is the evidence on how gaming and the internet helps like the brain. I chose not to use that because with the time we had, I did not think it would fit into what I really wanted to talk about and the solutions that I had. Okay, and then your second one is, 
Um, what advice would you have for other researchers who consider this topic? Uh, the advice I would say is that look more for evidence on why the internet is so good and less on gaming because it's good, it's easy to find on gaming, but the internet needs a little more time. Okay.